Okay, guys, the weigh-ins are taking place right now, and I'm joined with super fighter Raleigh Oestima. How are, you, are you looking forward to the event? Yeah, I'm really looking forward here, Jake. And um, it's uh, it's so crazy how time flies. You know, I can only remember like two years ago uh, winning ADCC 2009, and uh, it was like a dream come true. Now it's like in a blink of eyes. You know, I mean, they all fight tomorrow. You know, and uh, everything that we've been training for these last four months is, is going to be happening tomorrow right here. And um, I'm so excited that it's going to be fighting Jacare, one of my biggest rivals of all times. And uh, it's my chance to to pay back time. <laughs> you fought him four times before. Yes, uh, I've lost four times before, <laughs> six years ago. And uh, he's, uh, he's a, a big, big guy in the, in the, in the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. You know, he's, uh, he's, uh, he's, he's very very strong, very good, you know, he's won two times the, the, the absolute championships in the black belt, you know, clean up from blue belt towards the black belt. He never, I never saw him tapping ever, you know, it's, it's going to be a, a big challenge. I know he's been focused a lot on MMA, but he's been doing a lot of wrestling, a lot of submissions, which you can help him a lot on these roles, which is the ADCC, that's like a very unique competition. You know, but I have my tactics. I have my my Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu that's having evolved for a lot since last time we fought, and I, I, I'm looking forward for to put in place and put up a big show to the fans here in the UK. Now you're a guy that you've always been in the top three in your weight class, but for some reason it seems like like a good wine. You're improving with age. <laughs> How is that? Well, my wife says the same. <laughs> no, you know, like um, yes, I, because. I never trained for a single competition, thinking about beating someone. You know, because like we we always we always have uh, the the off seasons times, and uh, on my off seasons I I, I don't stop training. I, I always try to develop new things. I try to, to evolve my weakest part. You know, try to improve my areas that I consider gray areas to become my main areas and make like that is expand more my whole game and weapons for, for, for the for the fights you know so my main my main focus is, is always try to get as good as I can ever be you know otherwise you don't get, don't gonna get motivation because you know I, I've won the world three times I won the absolute and weight division in the ADCC there's not much else you to, to go if you if you just be happy and with it, you, you don't get, you don't get those challenges. So I put on my mind, you know what? I want to. I, I put my my aim of training. I'm 20, 45 years old, and I want to be as good as I can ever be when I reach that age. And I'm trying to evolve as much as I can. I never train the same thing all the time. And I, as you see, every fight that I come, I always bring up some new stuff that people not are not used to it. So it's pretty orthodox. And uh, that's I think is one of my advantages. And how old are you now? I'm 31. Looking 26. So, do you do you think that's a myth that uh, jiu-jitsu is not improving after 30? Yeah, no, definitely. Uh, I, what I think, what I believe is that it's a very good uh, combination there. I believe, like when you're 35, you you, you reach the the peak I, on, on between together. That's what my goal in terms of being the in the peak because like you're strong as you can you can ever be you know your body is already structured it's like a very your, your your structure is solid you know and you are clever enough with enough experience of uh, the life in the bjj that you can mix up together when that age you know and then after that is more here than the body you know that's how it becomes you know but i uh, i think when you when you understand the way of improvement not like just go there and roll and then just keep hitting each other in the head but when you understand the way how to see the direction how the compass in the bjj that's how it becomes more fun that's how you develop develop quicker and then this usually happens after 30s with your mature age you know and when you click and oh man that's it that's the direction you know that's people that mature earlier you know but um you know i believe that as the more you know yourself in in the in a fighting scenario the more you improve faster probably Ostima, we'll be looking forward to seeing you in the super fight i hope you guys enjoy the show